welcome to the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. We are excited that this special holiday tradition is here. From all of us here at Dominion Energy, we want to wish you Happy, Happy Holidays! Holidays. Oh, I love this Christmassy time of year. Oh, oh we're here, you guys! Woohoo! It's that time of year. The Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. Yes! Santa Claus is coming, it's a wonderful time. He's always here for and he's always okay. the folks on Broad Street. Oh. It's him! It's Santa. Santa! Let's go there now. Let's go! Let's do this! That way! The Dominion Energy Christmas Parade starts now. Happy holidays and good morning. Welcome to the 40th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. I'm Cheryl Miller. And I'm Rob Cardwell. We have crews all over the place. Our good friends uh, Kristen Lures and Reba Hollingsworth will join us along the route. As you can see, our hype man, Greg McQuaid, he's there with some of the spectators. And also Tom Patton and Janine Samuels in Storm Rider 6 and on our commemorative CBS 6 float this year. We are celebrating our 75th anniversary on the air here at CBS 6, going on the air April 22nd, 1948, as the South's first set television station. Of course, we are celebrating that wonderful milestone with you. All right, let's take a look at the parade route right now. As you can see, we are starting here at the Science Museum of Virginia. And we head all the way down Broad Street, all the way down to 7th Street. We're talking about 2.2 miles with the crowds lining the street the whole way. And you were out here early this morning, and people got out here early to get their prime spot to watch this 40th annual parade. Now, we're here in front of the Science Museum this year, a different spot than we normally are, uh, not far from the DMV. Both the Science Museum and DMV are big supporters of mm -hmm. the Christmas parade. Uh, this year, the Science Museum has some construction going on, yep. so we are in a different position, and the parade moving a little differently this year, but it's still going to be fun and fantastic. And as we mentioned, we're talking about 2.2 miles this entire parade route, and we've got the whole thing covered. Our good friends Kristen Lourdes and Reba Hollingsworth are on that parade route. And good morning, ladies. Good morning, Robin and Cheryl. Have good a good morning. Kid. Kristen here with me. This is just a magical time, just watching everyone just kind of line the streets here, Kristen. And all morning long, Robin and Cheryl, we have been watching them, like <laughs> you said, pick their prime spot. Take a look just behind us. We'll see if we can get the crowd riled up. Are you ready for the Christmas parade! Say hi! Good job, Kristen. Yeah, I think we're all ready for a Christmas Ray. We see the balloons, we see everything, and just, it's just great. Preparation has been key, and a lot of folks are ready. There are so many floats. I think I heard 96 floats yes. that are involved this year. Yes. Of course, CBS will have a float, too, so we can't wait to see them go by. That's always an interesting time where we always say yes. hi to everyone. And talking to people who have been coming, we met a guy this morning. He's been coming for, for years, like 30-plus years That's at right. this parade, That's right? That's right. And they are so excited, just like we are, to kick things off. All right, we're going to send it over to Tom Patton and Storm Rider. Hey, Tom. Good morning, good morning. Good to see you guys this morning. Janine, how you doing? Oh, I am doing great. And we are ready. We are actually on the CBS Explode. And to everyone else, it's 2023. But to us here, it is Christmas morning. 1948 and we are so excited. Yeah, so excited <laughs> and look at this. Yes, it's Christmas morning in 1948. The ladies in the snow. I would love to do the weather in the backyard weather center from a, a, a snow globe. We'll have to do that. Yes, we'll have to do that. Yes, on cold rainy or snowy mornings, I would love to do that. But very nice. Good to see you guys. The 1948 theme is alive and well, complete with a old 1948 TV and everything. Yeah. So what a magical year that must have been. And you look great for 75. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> and so do Joy and Caroline. All right, Greg, back to you. <laughs> All right, Janine and Tom, thanks so much, folks. We're along the parade. Are we excited for a parade? Yeah! That 
is what I am talking about. We're going to be, let me tell you, the crowd stretch all the way down West Broad Street. Right now with me is Andre May with his family here from Dominion Energy. So great to see you, Andre. Yeah, How excited are you? Because you are decked to the nines. You've decked yes. the halls, man. Yes, look, we're really excited. This is our first parade. Uh, you know, we're here with uh, thanking Domin uh, Dominion Energy for the opportunity to be here. Uh, so excited. I uh, just want everybody to have a happy holidays, knowing that, you know, we're powering your every day. And this is what it's all about. This is what powering your every day is all about. Being with your family, celebrating the holidays, and just having a good time. All right. Who are these lovely ladies with you? Well, these lovely ladies are my wife, Kay, uh, my daughter, Siri, and Jamesia. Uh, and these are the guys that really run it. Well, Amazing. I, I got to say, I know the ladies have been nice. They're on the nice list. But yeah. but how about but how about my man, Andre? No, no, he's on a naughty list oh, for oh. sure. <laughs> you might be getting some coal. Andre <laughs> and family, we wish you well. Enjoy the parade. Rob and Cheryl will be checking back in with you all morning. Oh. All right. Thank you, Greg. And, and maybe he can get a little bit more enthusiasm as the you day think goes so? on. Yeah, I don't think he's had <laughs> enough coffee this morning. Hey, the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade will kick off in just a few minutes. There are, of course, the floats, the marching bands, the majorettes, and, of course, the big crowd out here. You still have time to come join us if you want to. We can't wait to get started. We will be right back with the kickoff of the 40th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. Welcome back. We are celebrating joyous Christmas traditions. And I tell you what, the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade couldn't happen without a whole lot of support, Cheryl. That's right, including Rick Hendrick, Chevrolet, Buick, GMC. They're providing many of the vehicles that will be pulling the beautiful floats here today. Kristen and Reba are standing by with a member of the team. 
Yeah, we have David Nolan here, Cheryl, and you guys have been doing this for so long, we can't even remember how many years. So, <laughs> so why y'all do this every single year to be here at the Christmas parade? Well, you know, it's 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 fun for us because all year long, and everybody everywhere is always worried about competition. You know, and competition's good because we're always trying to see who can who can figure out what and the best and and get there and you know do things that we might not have done if we weren't competing. Uh, but it's cool to get together during some times of the year and just not compete and see everybody come together and remember why we get together as human beings to just have fun, not compete, and really enjoy a time together. And this is a really cool time to do that. This is great. Love this. Yeah. And you said you guys had 15 vehicles that are involved today. Two of them might be kind of special. Yeah, yeah. But what does it take to prepare for the parade? Well, I've got Ebony and Jake and then a whole lot of people back at the store, but those two really put things together and organize, do a lot of organizing for me to show up and get a couple minutes here. But they get all the trucks ready, gas prepared, ready to make sure they're good to go, all the hitches ready. Ready. Then they meet up with everybody early in the morning and get everything hitched up and then decide who's going to drive and then get them here. So it's fun. We've got 13 vehicles that are pulling floats uh, between GMCs and Chevrolets. And then we've got a Corvette and a Camaro that are going to be carrying some uh, special uh, people. David, thank and we'll you see so what happens. much. This is going to be great. can't wait to see them. You know, right now we're going to send it over to our hype mm -hmm. man, Greg McQuaid. Hey, Greg. <laughs> oh, good morning to you. Are we excited for this parade or what? That's right. Let me tell you something. We are in for a treat right here along Broad Street. How excited are you? Very excited. Well, you, how about you? I'm very excited. That's what we love to hear. I'll tell you, I've got the absolute best seat in the house. So toasty. It's warmer than a hot chocolate. Let me tell you something right now. All right, so right now, I think I hear the band star. Right? Is that the beginning? I, I think it might be. It's the beginning of the parade. I think it's just starting. All right, we're going to go send it back to you, Robin Cheryl. The beginning of the parade is starting right away. I don't know who's more excited, Greg, or the people around him right now. He gets everybody excited around him, which is perfect because the parade is about to start um, in just a couple of minutes. It will step off right here from in front of the Science Museum of Virginia. It's going to travel a little more than two miles to downtown Richmond on 7th Street. So you still have time to come down and join us. Head more toward downtown if you want to see the parade live. But, of course, our live parade coverage will continue right after this.
welcome back to the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. Yes, welcome back to the 40th Annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. Rob Cardwell, along with my good friend Cheryl Miller. Uh, we've been trying to do the math on how many times you and I together have hosted this parade. This is our 17th time, and your 25th. 25th. And, man, we are ready to get started. The Dominion Energy Christmas Parade actually gets started every year with the Richmond Police Motorcycle Unit and the Mounted Police. And I believe they are on the way right now. I heard the sound of sirens. In this case, that's a good thing. That means the Richmond Police Motorcycle Unit is leading off the parade this year. They always kick off the parade. They're joined by the Richmond Mounted Police. They brought four police horses today. Toby, Aslan, Banjo, and Marshall. Yeah, Richmond Mounted Unit, one of the oldest mounted police units in the nation, by the way. Uh, they do daily patrols through Richmond. Uh, they participate in things like crowd control. They're always at major events. Uh, they even participate in search and rescue efforts. Uh, so we really want to thank the uh, handlers for Toby, Aslan, Banjo, and Marshall, building some positive community re relations. And they say anytime that you see them out there, they'd love for you to come up and talk to them. Say hi. And it's a wonderful opportunity to see them up close in a positive way with the horses and the motorcycles. And man, Although I they're moving pretty slowly, so the <laughs> balance is an issue right now. And where we are, we are right in from the Science Museum of Virginia, and it's along Broad Street, and they're coming up right behind us about now. So there they go, right behind our setup here. And boy, I just love the rumble of those Harley Davidson engines, man. That's nice. And the, grand, the parade steps off at 10.15, hit it right on the nose today, mm -hmm. and will travel 2.2 miles down Broad Street, east toward downtown Richmond, and turn on 7th Street. There are almost 100 units in the parade today, including your favorite marching bands, majorettes, big balloons, and floats, and so much more. Lots of great live music that we'll be listening to today. Can't and wait to see the princesses and the superheroes and the legendary Santa. Yes. And the Grand Marshal this year, the Grinch, all the way down from Mount Crumpet. You got to meet the Grinch. I did. He was a, actually a very nice guy, but I don't want to ruin his reputation. Hey, here's the Richmond Raceway Pace Car from the Richmond Raceway. They've hosted racing there since 1946. They're going to host two incredible NASCAR Cup Series races next year under the stars, uh, first on Easter Sunday night and then and again on Sunday, August 11th. The amazing thing about this parade is there's actually an organization that puts the parade together. It's called Richmond Parade Incorporated. And their job is to coordinate this wonderful parade every year. They recruit the bands, they recruit the, the units, they recruit all of the floats that come in. They help get them built. Again, this year's theme is Joyous Christmas Traditions, honoring Richmonders' most beloved holiday celebrations. And it's so cool because a lot of that is volunteers. 200 to 250 volunteers to run this parade on a parade day. They have a staff of three and a volunteer committee of 20 just to plan it. The mission of the parade company is dedicated to creating a family-friendly experience that brings holiday cheer to children of all ages, to our community partners and local businesses everywhere. And they do want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday Season. And you hear those drums behind them? That is the Maggie Walker, Maggie Walker Governor's School drum line doing a great job. Maggie Walker Music Program has two concert bands, a jazz ensemble, percussion ensemble, drum line, three orchestras, and a chorus, so they're really busy over there. Uh, they're a two-time superior ensemble at state assessments in 2022 and 2023. Music is such an important part of the Maggie Walker Governor's School. They have 150 students. They say about one in five participates in the music program. Wow, really? Which is pretty cool. A lot of smart kids over there. All right, here comes our title sponsor this year, the Dominion Energy with their bucket truck. And uh, as you heard earlier, Greg talking with uh, Andre Ney from Dominion Energy. Uh, he just wanted to extend Dominion Energy's wishes for a great holiday season. Uh, they have a long history of supporting our nation's service members, too, and their families. They created what is now a national program called Troops to Energy about 11 years ago. And today, nearly one in five employees at the company is a military veteran. Thank you for now your service. Now, back in October, you may remember, the company completed the eighth Dominion Energy Charity Classic. That's a professional golf tournament where proceeds benefited veterans, their families, and military causes. All right, here's the guy I met yesterday, and he is a trip. This is 
The Grinch making his grand entrance at the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. Our Grand Marshal, by the way, this float sponsored by Chicken Fiesta. This is the Grinch's second time appearing in the parade. His heart grew just enough to come back to Richmond and lurk his way down the parade route. Oh, he is just that? chilling today yeah. in his big chair. Oh, <laughs> he's got such a tight schedule, you know, solving the world's problems and, you know, just being the Grinch. And, of course, the Grinch is going to be back uh, in Richmond for Broadway in Richmond's How the Grinch Stole Christmas at the Altria Theater the week of December 12th. So you can see the Grinch and all his Grinchiness on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Richmond, Grinch. All right, and right behind the Grinch, look at these clowns. This is actually the Virginia Alley Number 3, Clowns of America. Uh, they're the oldest surviving clown alley in the whole country, and they really get into it. We appreciate you being in the parade this year again. Virginia Alley 3, Clowns of America, hosting several clown conventions right here in Richmond, inviting clowns from all over the world. The president is a former Ringling Clown who leads every unit, the red, the blue, and the gold. And they say they would love to teach you, you, Rob, specifically, really? and you out there watching. How to be a clown. <laughs> I've been called a clown before. Maybe I could be a professional this year. <laughs> We've got a lot more floats to come. We want to check in with Reba and Kristen, who can fill us in. Oh, Robin, Cheryl, we have such a prime spot watching the parade just go behind us here. And coming up right now, boy, look at these young ladies right here. This is the Richmond Urban Dance. They have four perform performance squads and two competition teams that perform weekly at various community events. The group has 40 weekly classes for dancers of all ages and all skill levels, including a recently started dance class for senior citizens. They strive to keep people dancing as long as they can. Just take a look at it right there. They are just getting down right now, just getting in the spirit. Richmond Urban Dance is known for their work in the community, offering free after-school programs, scholarships, and underserved for underserved families and for special needs families. The director and two daughters competed on this season's of America's Got Talent. How about that, Reba? Richmond Urban Dance's I Am Hip Hop Dance Concert this year featured Mel, Mel and Scorpio of Grand Masters Flash's Furious Five, as well as Shot Rock, the first female MC. Oh, Look at them go. They were great. Pumping up the crowd as they go by. Look at them. And they I got love some their jerseys. music right now, too, right? Yeah. Look at them. All in sync. They are taking over the lanes of Broad Street. Can we come? Can we come? We can do this. Come on. We can do it. Oh, I don't know about that movie, but that was good. Here they go. And coming up now, Kristen, we have the Richmond BMX float getting rad and racing for 25 years. Richmond BMX is completely volunteer run, has riders ranging from two to 76 years old. Look at them go, doing right all kind on. of tricks right now. You doing great. Know, and you may notice that the float has number 41 on it. There's a 29, you may see a number 41. It is a tribute to Gio Morton, a 17-year-old rider who died when he was hit by a stolen car this year. Now, this past year, Richmond BMX has raised funds to support the community through Rad Share, Power Over Parkinson's, and directly to local families. What a great group. Yeah, and I don't know if you know this, Richmond BMX hosts several of the largest professional and amateur BMX events on the East Coast every single year. They are having a blast, and I'm having a blast just watching them. Watching them doing their tricks. I love their helmets. Some of them have the night. Look at he has the reindeer ears, but antlers. Like yeah, and I <laughs> love the antlers. age range. Wow. I love the age range. I hope we can zoom in on some of these tricks. I don't know how they do oh, that. And they are and masters. You, and you see the float right there with the big bicycle on the float, looking great. There he is. Look at the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> what a cutie. What a cutie. Already starting. There they go, this Christmas tree on the helmet. I mean, they know how to show up. They are showing up and showing out today, right? Who loves a princess around here? You know we do, and we both have little girls, they have little the princesses, way down right? right? This is the Magic Emirament. They were founded in 2018 by former Disney character performer who wanted to bring magic to her beloved hometown. Magic Emirament is committed to making every moment magical for the little princesses and the princes of Richmond. They allow children to interact with princesses who are all talented performers who look, act, and sound as though they step right out of their very own fairy tale. They tell us this because it's so important to them that they get to make magic together and serve their beloved city. 
and look at the oh, angel. Yes, oh, hi, hi. just the angel that's coming up right now. Beautiful. This is the Addison Clark Angel Balloon. Addison Clark is a full service marketing agency located right here in Richmond, Reba. Yeah, Addison Clark focuses on providing measurable business results for local, regional, and national companies across a wide range of industries. Addison Clark is proud to be active members of the Richmond community and the website sponsor for this year's Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. And her halo is beautiful. Uh, just her angelic wings. for this beautiful angel. Looking good. We have a lot of folks. We have plenty of handlers under there. And we uh -oh. love it. We are trying to come down Because we always know this is the tricky part sometimes with our balloons, but they're doing it. They're doing it. These float handlers are masters. <laughs> And this just look at the crowd. We are high. just loving this. It's tough when we have the stoplights. There she goes. She's ducking down. She's ducking down. She's coming. And like you said, these are trained handlers getting her ready to go underneath the light. It's a very careful. It has it has a science to it, doesn't it, Reba? <laughs> it does. And I'm watching the crowd. They're like, can she do it? Right. Can she do it? I feel like we're all watching so yes. intently. <laughs> Come on, Angel goes. Lady, you got it. You got it. Man, it is an all-hands-on-deck oh, situation over there, Kristen. They're getting from the crowd. Look, absolutely. <laughs> Come on, all-hands-on-deck. We got this. A crowd cheering them on. Yes. We're all just kind of anticipating. We are. Come on, come on, you got it. We want to see her flying. We got it. And you we hear the crowd it. over there, come on, cheering her on. Yay, I see hey. the head. The head is up. Praise, <laughs> praise. Praise, yes. You hear that the crowd girl. clapping. Yes, she did it, Kristen. Moving down, Broad. Yeah, come that, on, and again, lady. that is the Addison Clark Angel Balloon. And she made it. And you hear the applause from the crowd. She made it from going underneath that stoplight. Look at the handlers not even breaking a sweat. Yeah. They said, we, we have do got this all this. the time. We right. do it all the time. We got it. Reeling her back in. Next, we have Ucrop's Homestyle Foods Antique Truck. Since 1937, the Ucrop family has been dedicated to the purpose of nourishing families and communities. And over 85 years later, Ucrop's Homestyle Foods is still committed to that purpose as it expands availability of a delicious, made-from-scratch kitchen and bakery products to retailers in our region and beyond. This antique Ucrop's truck is a 1926 model TT freight truck that Joe Ucrop bought from his neighbor, get this, Kristen, in 1939. Look at that. It looks great. Put a little restoration in that. You know that yeah, they have about, right? I don't know, how, how many rolls do you think are in the back of that truck? I don't know. Let's go it find out. It serves a purpose. The yeah. truck was originally used to harvest apples and peaches from the Ucrop family farm. In 1958, the truck was sold, but Joe missed it so much that he bought it back in 1961. We are so glad he did. I love it. And I think they're handing out their, their famous rolls right now. Do you think they'll throw one to us? Can we raise our hand and wait, get one? Reba, wait, Reba, wait. Toss I'm it over here. I'm trying. Oh, they're getting so many hugs from the crowd. Oh, yeah. That's a very <laughs> popular rolls, truck right there. Rolls bring us all together. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> it does. Yeah, since then, the antique Ucrop truck has been restored. It is now used for promotions and community events just like this, the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. They are looking good, and they have decorated the side of that truck, too. Is that Boyd Setties on there? Yeah, that's that beautiful. So good. I'm still eyeing the rolls, though. I am. Oh, oh you can't you miss hear them. You hear them. They know how to bring the party to the party, right? VCU Peppas Float, sponsored by Ucrom's Homestyle Foods. The Peppas have performed in the Christmas parade for more than a decade, Kristen. That's right. Being a part of this band is so important to its members because they enjoy the freedom to express themselves both musically and creatively. They feel a tremendous, they feel a tremendous sense of duty to carry on their best traditions and maintain their reputation for being a high-energy and menacing pep 
fan, absolutely. Yeah, you said high energy. The Peppas perform at men's and women's soccer, volleyball, field hockey, baseball, lacrosse, and all the men's and women's basketball games. They have traveled with the VCU men's basketball team to some of their biggest events, like the NCAA tournament and A-10 tournament. They are considered one of the most well-known pep bands in the country, and you know why. Let's take a listen. Christmas songs of George Michael this I Christmas. Love oh, yeah. Off. yeah. You know what, Reeves? You props Homestyle Foods is excited to continue the tradition of handing out those White House rolls and rainbow cookies at the Richmond Christmas Parade. After all, it is the world's most perfect roll and Richmond's favorite cookie. Yes, it is. Oh, I've had plenty. I sure have. And you can try Ucrops Homestyle Food Products at one of their many retail partners or visit Ucrops Market Hall at 7250 Patterson Avenue. And from the Ucrops family to yours, it is a pleasure to serve you and listen to the VCU Peppas. Richmond Christmas mother, Jacqueline Ucrop Aronson. It's a tradition for the women in the Ucrop family to volunteer their time as the Richmond Christmas mother. Since 1935, the Richmond Christmas Mother Fund has helped bring Christmas to the city's underprivileged families. Run by the Richmond Times Dispatch, the Richmond Christmas Mother Fund distributes assistance through partnerships with the Salvation Army, the Community Foundation, and Feed More. Richmond Ri Christmas Mother donations go toward winter coats, toys, meals, and the financial and emotional support some families need to Absolutely. celebrate this truly special holiday. And this group. is Richmond Times Dispatch talking about the penguin. And flow. The Richmond Times Dispatch is the region's largest news organization for more than 173 years. The Richmond Times Dispatch has covered local news, politics, business, sports, and culture. The Richmond Times Dispatch is where your story lives. I wonder how the penguin feels right now because it's not super, super cold. So you think the penguin's okay though? Right. He's not too frozen right Yeah. Now. Yeah. He looks like he's moving along just fine. <laughs> it's just it, a little damp. That's all it is. That's it. The Richmond Times Dispatch is where your your story lives. Join millions of Virginians in watching the RTD's Virginia Video Network, the region's first and only fully online streaming video network. Check it out at richmond.com slash VVN or search for the Virginia Video Network on your on other devices. All right, we're going to turn it over to our hype man, Greg McQuaid. Hey, Greg. <laughs> we are having a blast out here in the field along Broad Street. I'll tell you right now, the energy, the pep is really, really yep. Are we having a good time? Come on. The energy is palpable. It's tangible. You can taste it, that's for sure. Well, let me tell you something. Coming up, we have none other than the Flying Squirrels with Nutsy and Parney. We've got the Ambassadors, VUU, and who's a Star Wars fan here? All right, we're all Star Wars fans, so you got to keep an eye on. Oh, there's like flying ice cream. All right, listen, uh, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker coming up. Grab your lightsabers and come on back. 40th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. We'll be right back. That was awesome, guys. You just, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. That was great.
Energy Christmas Parade. It is parade day in Richmond. The temperature just chilly enough to feel like the holidays. It feels great, doesn't it? <laughs> It's beautiful here. The parade just got underway a little while ago. We've got a lot more to come for you here in Richmond. Right now, we want to check out the Richmond Chris Hanover Christmas Mother. This is Debbie Taylor. Last year, the Hanover Christmas Mother program served almost 600 families, more than 1,300 children, and 64 seniors in Hanover County. The program provides financial assistance like food, clothing, and toys for county residents who request financial assistance during the holidays. This particular program in Hanover County was organized in 1949, and since 1989, the Doswell Ruritan Club has worked with its members and volunteers to help sponsor the Hanover Christmas Mother Program. The program funded solely through donations from individuals, families, organizations, and businesses from Hanover and in the surrounding area. Again, that's Debbie Taylor, the Hanover Christmas Mother. And look at the spectators there. I want to really thank Debbie and all the volunteers in Hanover County that work year round to make this happen and all the families that they're uh, affecting out there and just their hard work is everything that the Christmas spirit is about. And one of the nice things about the Richmond Christmas Parade is it brings the community together. So do the Richmond Flying Squirrels. Yeah, nothing like community with the Richmond Flying Squirrels involved. They are just in everything that's going on. And we love to have them here at the parade. Uh, by the way, the Richmond Flying Squirrels welcome nearly 430,000 fans to the Diamond this season. That's the highest total attendance in the league and the highest among all AA teams in the entire country. There's uh, Nutsy and Natasha saying hi to everybody. Uh, the Squirrels also led in average attendance with nearly 6,400 fans passing through the squirrely gates on a nightly basis. And that's one of the guys that makes that all possible, our good friend Parney Parnell uh, and his wonderful pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can buy Parney pants <laughs> Party at pants? the Diamond yeah, <laughs> in the gift yeah. shop. Yeah. You know, since the team's first season here in Richmond in 2010, there have actually been, hey, there's, there's Nutsy. Hey, Nutsy <laughs> joining us real fast. Can we get a shot of this? Hey. We didn't think you were going to come see us. You were so far away. <laughs> you better get back. They're going to miss you. I know. I know. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey, when they say have fun, go nuts, they mean it. And that's, they mean I'm it. telling you. Uh, since the team's first season in 2010, there have been 84 Flying Squirrels players who've gone on to play in the majors, so it's really good baseball as well. And you mentioned some of the, the statistics about this year's team uh, attendance, and, and the team did so well. The Squirrels say they want to thank all their fans who helped make 2023 a memorable and historical year at the Diamond. It's a pretty, pretty nice float, too. All those volunteers and those are hard workers that uh, welcome people in through the squirrely gates. I love going to get some squirrely fries while I'm there and watching the game. <laughs> and of course, the squirrels will be back next season. They'll opening night on the at the Diamond, Tuesday, April 9th, versus the Akron Rubber Ducks. Well, these handsome gentlemen and their horses, this is the Black Gum Saddle Club. Uh, they're a Western riding club based in Charles City County, Virginia, but they have members throughout the surrounding counties. The African-American founded equestrian club has been active for about 40 years. They sponsor a New Year's Day ride from Charles City County to the city of Richmond every single year, participating in other organized trail rides along the East Coast, community outreach, benefit rides, things of that nature. And they've been uh, appearing in the Richmond Christmas Parade multiple times, so it's good to see them back here with us again. They have diverse backgrounds. The Black Gum Saddle Club members come together to promote the Racking Horse, which is a breed of horse with a smooth-to-ride gait that they say can sustain long distances, sometimes at the astounding speed of 20 miles an hour or more. Wow. They are so beautiful. I love how they decorate them up for the Christmas, too. Very nice. The Black Gum Saddle Club. And what? it's not Christmas without gingerbread, right? No, especially a big one like this. Look at that gingerbread guy. This is the uh, Virginia Housing Gingerbread House float. By investing in the power of home, Virginia Housing transforms where and how thousands of Virginians live and thrive, strengthen communities and the economy. They were founded back in 1972 as the Virginia Housing Development Authority. Uh, Virginia Housing works in partnership with the public and private sectors, helping Virginians attain quality, affordable housing. 
They don't receive any state taxpayer dollars, but Virginia Housing raises money in capital markets. They help provide mortgages to first-time home buyers. They invest in developments and innovations in affordable housing. And they make homes for people with disabilities and older Virginians more livable. Virginia Housing committed to diversity, equity, and inclusion among its associates, its customers, and affordable housing partners. And what a great gingerbread house float, too. All right, next, this is uh, the Riverside Outfitters. Of course, uh, Richmond has the river running through it and a lot of great trails and a lot of things to do on the river, a lot of fun things to do outside. Uh, Riverside Outfitters bus. Since 2005, Riverside Outfitters has been Richmond's hub for outdoor adventure. Even if you're paddling on top of a bus, they have everything that you need. <laughs> They're getting nowhere fast right now. Yeah, they <laughs> got to paddle harder. They take thousands of customers whitewater rafting on the James through downtown Richmond every year. Uh, if you'd like to do something a little more relaxing, Riverside Outfitters can rent you a deluxe river tube and shuttle you to the start of a chilly three-hour float back to your car. And this float is sponsored by Rick Hendricks Chevrolet Buick GMC, which wants you to know how much they support the Richmond community and how much the support of the Richmond community means to them. Mm -hmm. They are honored to call Richmond home and even more honored, they say, to be the River City's one-stop automotive shop for selection and vehicle service over the years. And of course, they're providing a lot of the tow vehicles for the floats again today here in the 40th annual Richmond Christmas Parade. You know, if you've never been uh, whitewater rafting on the James, you should check it out. Opening day for rafting and kayaking is March 30th. All right, right now we want to toss it to our friends Kristen and Reba on the parade route. Hey, good morning, guys. Things yeah. are going really well down here at the parade. We just saw the River Alfred. They were fantastic. But now we want you to take a look at this. It's the International Star Wars Costuming Organization. Look at them waving there, the Rebel Legion. The Rebel Legion and 501st Legion are international Star Wars costuming organizations created by and of and for people interested in recreating costumes from the Star Wars mythos. The dark side includes Sith Lords, Stormtroopers, Bounty Hunters, Hunters, pilots, and more. The light side includes Jedis, pilots, troopers, princesses, scoundrels, and even Wookiees, Reba. I loved it. And the International Star Wars Costuming Organization's worldwide membership supports charities and nonprofits and other organizations like Make a Wish Foundation, the U.S. Marine Corps, Toys for Tots, and even local children's hospitals. So they are really doing good work. And such a very popular attraction right now because who loves, everyone loves Star Wars, right? Absolutely. It's great. Look at the crowd over there. And up next, we have the Brown Ballerinas for Change, working to empower young dancers. Brown Ballerinas for Change's mission is to promote activism and social justice and to increase diversity in the arts by providing annual scholarships, mentor network, and community programs. Don't they look beautiful this morning? They're cute little tutus yeah. they have. Yeah, the group is going into their third year of its Brown Ballerinas for Change ambassador program, which provides tuition-free dance classes and advocacy workshops to the youth. Now, two of the co-founders, Ava Holloway and Kennedy George, they were named Richmond Style Weekly's 2022 Top 40 Under 40. Brown Ballerinas for Change was included in the Emmy Award-winning PBS documentary, Mending Walls Project, and their coffee table book, an extension documentary collaboration if these walls could dance. And they don't have to be in a studio. Look at them right here on Broad Street doing their moves. All right, we're going to turn it over right now to Greg. What you see out there, Greg? Oh, my goodness. The Legion is walking by, and we all kind of hushed Darth Vader. I think he got booed. All right, so, folks, are we having a great time here at the parade? Look at the stuff. Oh, my goodness. We've got troopers it's such a great time. We have so much more coming up. We've got Irish dance doing their jig. We've got baton twirlers. And we've got the chief of police of the city of Richmond, Rick Edwards. We will be right back.
watching live coverage of the 40th annual Dominion Energy Richmond Christmas Parade. The theme this year, Joyous Christmas Traditions. And we are now seeing the Crossroads Irish Dance Company, which is a tradition in this parade as well. The bouncing curls come down the Broad yeah. Street every year for the parade. Yeah, they're celebrating 23 years of offering dance instruction to people across the Richmond community. Uh, and they start them young, too. They start as young as 18 months and up. And those costumes and dresses are just beautiful. Uh, they're proud to offer encouraging, energetic teachers and safe, age-appropriate programs, according to the uh, developers. They're recognized in the Richmond community as a full-service Irish dance school, offering preschool, recreational, adult, performance, and competitive programs, so there's something for everybody with the Crossroads Irish Dance. We've got comfortable temperatures, too. I always feel for majorettes and dancers and their, their outfits that tend not to be as warm as they can be. Right. So today's temperature, which is probably right around 60 degrees at this point, is actually rather comfortable to get out there and work up a sweat. I was going to say, the dancing might warm dance. them up. <laughs> yeah, remember, this is the uh, start of the parade. We're in front of the Science Museum of Virginia on Broad Street. But this goes 2.2 miles down Broad Street all the way to 7th. And uh, so, yeah, they've got to do this performance all that way. Fortunately, they're young and they're energetic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they do compete at local, regional, and international levels. Their mission is to serve their community by instilling acceptance, friendship, and wellness through dance. That's Crossroads Irish Dance. What do we say, 23 years offering dance instruction? That's pretty cool. I mean, this is a joyous Christmas tradition as well. And you know what this is? This guy brings me joy. This is the Cookie Monster, of course. C is for Cookie. Yeah. he's. Uh, this is sponsored by Patient First. They opened their first medical center in Richmond, in Virginia in 1981, and they provided convenient, cost-effective, urgent, and primary care ever since. But first, let's talk about the Cookie Monster. I did a little bit of research on him. And, what did uh, you learn? Well, I found out that he made his debut on Sesame Street back in 1966. So what's wow. that, 57 years ago? He's and, looking good for his age. Uh, and he just celebrated a birthday. Apparently his birthday is November 2nd. So I don't know if he just turned 57 or if he's turning 58. And he can limbo. Yes, he can. <laughs> And here's a, you know what, you might be asked this at a uh, trivia night one night. Does anybody know what Sid, I mean, what uh, the Cookie Monster's <laughs> real name is? And I just gave you it away. You just gave it away. Yeah, in 2004, in a song on Sesame Street, he revealed, the Cookie Monster, that his real name is Sid. Sid Cookie or Cookie Sid or <laughs> and he's got a bunch of chocolate chip cookies there so I would dare say that's probably his favorite cookie oh man how low can you go and listen to the crowd yeah good job Cookie good job. Monster good job to those uh, Cookie Monster handlers they did a really good job of getting under that, that light. I was a little nervous there for a moment. As you mentioned, we have a lot of volunteers working with the parade, and, and they are the, the balloon handlers today are volunteers, and they did do a fabulous job. Uh, there are street lights all up and down Broad Street where the parade will go from the Science Museum of Virginia to downtown, so they're going to have to do that maneuver a few more times. Absolutely. And look, they're doing a little twirl. <laughs> He's working off some of those cookies by doing a little dance in here. By, again, this uh, Cookie Monster Balloon is sponsored by Patient First. The physicians and the support staff there at Patient First wish you and your family a wonderful and healthy holiday season. And this is Patricia Johnson State Farm Float. Patricia Johnson is a, a black female-owned business. Johnson herself, a native Richmonder. State Farm, the number one auto and home insurer in the United States. Patricia Johnson State Farm has five stars on Google. Google, they emphasize giving back to the community through back to school and toy drives. They do small business collaborations and much more. Nice little Thank night you, before. Patricia, for your service to our community. Absolutely. Nice. I was going to say, nice little nightmare before Christmas. Christmas theme with a beautiful uh, Christmas tree on the back of that float. Jack Skellett. There you go. All right. Do you baton? I used Cheryl? to. Uh, I used to be able to twirl, but yeah. no longer. It's, it's a skill that you have to keep practicing, and 
The Dubaton Dance Twirl team does practice regularly. They look fabulous out there, uh, twirling the batons. They do the throws. They do fire. They do a little bit of everything with the balloons. Yeah, they're a competitive baton twirling group based out of Richmond and the surrounding counties here. Again, this is Dubaton Dance Twirl Team. Uh, team members range in age from four years old all the way up to high school seniors. Now, you may remember this team. They are a rebranding of the Florets Majorettes. That's right. Which have been in our parade many, many times. Their coaches are Julie Whitaker, Kelly Robeson, and Jennifer Fibbs. So now they call themselves Dubaton Dance Twirl Team. Okay, they were the Florets Majorettes. Now they're the Dubaton Dance Twirl Team. Very talented. I, I don't know how they do it. It's a learned skill, just like anything else, and they're probably going to influence a lot of little girls and little boys to want to maybe try this at some point. Nice coordination there. And again, they're going to do this for 2.2 miles. This is just the start of their little walk down Broad Street. Getting involved in something like this is so wonderful at a young age because you learn about uh, group dynamics, you learn about coordination, you learn about being part of a, a crowd like this, build right. your confidence, right. a little yeah. bit of everything. And here in the parade, now they're being a part of the community as well. Well, I'm so glad to be here. We'll, we talk about this theme for the uh, Christmas parade, the 40th, the 40th Dominion Energy Christmas parade, that it is joyous Christmas traditions, and it's always such a, a joy to have the baton parade. It is. It's also a joy to have this float. This is Innovage. They're the largest pace provider in the country. They've been serving our senior citizens for more than 30 years. PACE stands for the Program for All-Inclusive Care for the Elderly. Their mission, they say, is to allow older adults and veterans who would otherwise need nursing home care to stay in their homes and communities for as long as safely possible mm -hmm. and on their own personal terms. Innovage helps with medical, financial, social, and emotional care and support. And if you're interested in learning more, they do. Uh, most of the participants receive Medicare and Medicaid benefits as well as additional care and services at no cost. So if you have an elderly member of your family that may want to check them out, a little information for you. Yeah, they provide things like transportation to and from medical appointments, primary care, specialty care coordination, in-home services, physical occupation, speech therapy, and much more. And I love their float with the blue and the green and the white. Very, very cool. All right, another tradition in this uh, parade seems to be every year we welcome the Franklin Military Academy here in Richmond. They opened in Richmond back in 1983 as the first public military academy in the nation. And since they've been open, Franklin has boasted a 100% graduation rate. 100%. Uh, Franklin Military Academy not only leading the way in STEM development, but they're known for their outstanding support and community service projects as well. They are part of the Richmond Public School System, and like the parade this year, they are celebrating 40 years. No kidding. Very nice. They're recognized by U.S. News and World Report as one of the best high schools in the country for the 2023-2024 school year. Congratulations. Teaching young men and women character by, again, also having a 100% graduation rate. That's awesome. Well, hi, guys. This is the City of Richmond float. City of Richmond, proud sponsor for the 40th consecutive year. Uh, you can take a look at the float there. It's got the City of Richmond symbol. Uh, some of the Bulldogs are on there. Very nice. Uh, this year, the City of Richmond continued to make great strides in improving the lives of Richmond residents by bolstering investments in children and families, ensuring Richmonders have access to green space, a quality community center and after-school programs, removing barriers for low-income residents to access quality opportunities, and pushing Richmond grow in an equitable and affordable way. City Councilman Mike Jones, soon to be a delegate for the state, mm -hmm. uh, recently elected. Very cool. Congratulations, City of Richmond float. And now let's head it to our friends, <laughs> Kristen and Reba. How are you guys? Oh, Down we're on great. We still got a prime spot. And I'm still thinking about Cookie Monster. I know. Cookie he did Monster like made a little it. limbo yes. there, like Cheryl said. 
and he popped right he back did. up, and he is continuing to twirl down Broad yes. Street, looking good. And right now, what we have is this chief of police protecting the city of Sorry. Richmond, and the Richmond chief of police, Rick Edwards, is committed to public safety through community policing, engagement, and making a difference in the lives of families across Richmond. And we have to say thank you to our men and women in blue who protect us every single day, Kristen. Absolutely. Many other Richmond Police Department units are in the parade, including the motorcycle unit, which helped kick things off. There's also the mounted unit, the LGBTQ plus diversity unit, recruitment division, and RPD band. And the Richmond PAL program, along with the police chief, is the Richmond Police Athletic League, or PAL. Program PAL has been around since 1991, when it was started by a group of officers working in the south side of Richmond. Richmond PAL is a nonprofit organization that works under the umbrella of the Richmond Police Community Care Unit. Ooh, I love when they have the lights going like yeah, that. Yeah, right? Looking good. The program serves approximately 500 kids annually through sports, camps like soccer, football, basketball, and boxing. The group also takes children to various museums in the city, surrounding areas, as well as the theater and ballet. And coming up next, we have the Richmond Sheriff, Antoinette Irving. Now welcoming Richmond Sheriff, Antoinette Irving. She is coming down Broad Street right now. Is. In 2023, the Richmond City Sheriff's Office Community Outreach and External Programs Division participated in over 100 <laughs> community engagement events like Trunk or Treat, Food Distributions, Touch a Truck, and Read Across America, Milk and Cookies Programming, in partnership with assisting families of inmates. Look at them go right there. She was just waving. Uh -huh. She got her wave down. Well, Richmond Public Schools All City Marching Band. Yes. And you can hear it. It's the Richmond Public Schools All City, including all five RPS high schools John Marshall, Thomas Jefferson, Armstrong, Huguenot, and Richmond High School for the Arts. And the band directors are Dominic Reynolds, Dante Chambers, Ton Van, Nat Boyd, and Andrew Miles. They sound great and they look great. Can we listen? Can you in? hear them? Can we hear them? Can we listen in? The ladies are looking good there. I love their little Christmas outfits. Beautiful colors. And you know, when you're at a high school football game and you hear a band like this, it just gets you going, right? It does. They sound great. But you know what? We're going to turn it over to our friend Greg McQuaid with the crowd. Hey, Greg. Yes, we having a great time here. Hi, Chief Edwards. Good to see you, buddy. How are you? Fantastic. Well, I'll tell you, folks, we're getting candy. We're having a blast. Are we enjoying ourselves or what? Yeah. Here, you can have some candy. All right, that's fantastic. Listen, we've got the Shriners in tiny little cars, and then all of our friends from CBS 6, including Mike Stone, we're going to get him in a tiny car. You want to see that coming up. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the 40th Annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. I'm Rob Cardwell, along with my good friend Cheryl Miller. Uh, you're just watching uh, just half of the parade is, is over with. We still have a no, whole hour to go. And to kick off this hour, we have the Richmond Professional Firefighters Association, Local 995. They're an affiliate of the International Association of Firefighters, the IAFF. They represent over 300 men and women in the Richmond Fire Department. We want to thank all of our first responders out there who are watching this morning and those participating in the parade today. Uh, this engine, representing Local 995, it's an old one, was once assigned to engine company number five on the day of the Broad Street Fire. You might remember that. This engine was first due uh, at a fire and was severely burned in the middle of Broad Street. It's since been refurbished, and it now runs as a special event engine for Local 995. Again, they were established some time ago. We just want to thank them for once again being in the parade. And that's a special treat for these children to be on board a fire truck. That's pretty Absolutely. cool. That's always so fun hearing the siren. You remember when the uh, the very start of the parade, when we started off uh, an hour ago, it was the uh, Richmond Mounted Squad and, and the uh, motorcycle unit, just hearing the engines and the kids love hearing the uh, sirens going by and uh, the roar of the engines. And these kids actually get to be on the fire truck. That's, well, that's time cool. to welcome some of our friends, the CBS 6 crew. This, as we mentioned, is the 75th anniversary of WTVR. There's Zach Daniel and Walter, the weather dog, along with Bill Fitzgerald, and Julie, Julie Bragg, and Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who loves Walter and Stanley more, the owner, <laughs> Zach, or Julie. She loves those puppies. And right. our Tom Patton is in Storm Rider, which is pulling a very special CBS 6 float this year. Hi, Tom. Good morning, you guys. Hey, listen, the gentleman driving Storm Rider today, we were reminiscing about the last time we were both in Storm Rider together. It was during the big snowstorm high in December 2018, and we were in Storm Rider driving all over all the neighborhoods in the area, trying to help people out and uh, giving reports. And that was that huge December snow we had, and what was that, five or so years ago. So that was the last time we were here together. So it's good to be in Storm Rider. Maybe we'll get some snow missions this year. <laughs> but maybe not, you never know. But it looks like um, uh, we're having a wonderful time. And it's good to see you. Good morning, good morning, hi. All right, Cheryl, Rob, back to you guys. All Thank right, you, thanks. Tom. Our float taking you back to a Christmas morning in 1948 as we celebrate our 75th anniversary this year. And our snow globe with reporters Caroline Colburn and Joy Fultz inside the snow globe. And our Janine Samuels is on board the float. Hi, Janine. This parade started as the Tall Hammer Toy Parade, and inside the snow globe, Caroline and Joy are fighting over a snow bear. How <laughs> That is funny. a Stallheimer snow bear. And I noticed that on the float, we have stockings hung by the chimney with care, but there's stockings on there with your name and my name on them, so Ooh. I'm very excited about that. I'm excited about that when it comes back to the station. We'll see what's in the stockings. All right, coming up next, right behind Storm Rider is the Hopewell High School Marching Blue Devils. Award-winning band program placed first in several competitions across the region. The Blue Devils are even a two-time national champion competing in Atlanta, Georgia. They performed on ESPN, and they're going to represent the Commonwealth of Virginia in the National Memorial Day Parade in Washington, D.C. come this May. Congratulations to them on that big honor. Let's take a listen.
sponsored by Marriott Hotel, Delta by Marriott Hotel, the Gingerbread Man Cookie Balloon. I wonder how many calories there are in that cookie. I really don't care because I love some gingerbread. Gingerbread Man cookies were actually first attributed to the court of Britain's Queen Elizabeth I, what? who served the figurines to foreign dignitaries made in their likeness. You've done your research. I did do my research. Gingerbread became associated with Christmas in the late 17th century. I love a good gingerbread cookie. I have to admit, it's one of my favorite parts of Christmas. Hey, look at these handsome fellas. This is the XL Bully Club. XL Bully Club, based out of Gloucester, Virginia. First and only XL American Bully Registry worldwide for these canines, by the way. Uh, they accept all colors and classes of XL American Bully. That is the breed. Uh, look for upcoming XL Bully Club dog shows at XLBC. Dot com if you'd like to learn more. Yeah, this is relatively a new dog breed, initially a mix of the American Pit Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire Terrier. Since then, it's been crossed with other breeds to create an ultra-muscular dog. XL Bully, the largest variant of the American Bully. XL. Uh, time for another float. This is the Summit Media Radio Station float. Uh, next, uh, some of our favorite stations, uh, Awesome 109, Totally 80s and More, with the Ace and TJ in the Morning, and all your favorite songs from the 80s, featuring 80 minutes commercial-free music while you work. Classic Rock 96.5, Richmond's only classic rock station, featuring Ray G and Kobe in the Morning, and 103.7, your variety, with the best of 2K, and today with Murphy, Sam, Jody in the Morning. I'd like to thank all of our friends over at Summit Media and all of the radio stations. You guys do great work. And we help keep up with your tra local traffic in the mornings from CBS 6 on the Summit Radio stations. Absolutely. All right, uh, you also get traffic reports from our good friend Kristen and news reports from Reba who are on the parade route. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi, Hi, guys. Hi, good morning. And we just saw the Wegmans float go by, and it, they had the train on the back, right? It was beautiful. The fringe at the bottom, the gold fringe, yes. very, it stands out, the railroad crossing. You're right, it's so pretty. And they were waving. I thought I heard them say, hey, Reba and Kristen. And beautiful. you know, when you go to the store at Wegmans, they have the train that goes around in the store, so that's great, up that's above. That's right. Wegmans Food Market is a family-owned, 110-store supermarket chain that opened its first two stores in Richmond in 2016. In 2023, Wegmans ranked number four on Fortune 100 Best Companies to Work For list and was named a People Magazine's list of 50 companies that care. Oh, yeah. And that Look was at the these Wegmans. ladies coming up. The Bar None Dance Company, yeah, sweetheart. Yeah, they offer dance genres from ballet to tap, hip-hop, tumbling, and more. It is Bar None's dance company right there. Look at them go this morning, right? Bar None has been open since 2016 and offers dance classes starting, get this, Kristen, as young as two years old. And I love to see the little two-year-olds dance, too. It's it, it's kind of their, they beat to their own drum, don't they? And I am loving, like, the neon pink. Yeah, that looks great. The company just moved to a local, to a new location at Regency Square Mall, which means parents can shop while their children dance. Perfect time. And up next, Kristen, we have the Jumpstart U2, also known as JSU2, is working to build capacity in all areas of life by serving as a resource connection station, providing direction and training to individuals in need. JSU2 offers access to housing opportunities for people who normally wouldn't be able to secure housing independently due to criminal background, bankruptcy, judgments, among other things. JSU2 is committed to serving the community by hosting several engagements throughout the year such as a back-to-school bash, soulful holiday extravaganza, and more. Oh, and I love their float. They have that gold fringe, too. It kind of just sparkles on the, the way down. down. Uh -huh. Yes. And Got I'm the loving Christmas, the Christmas tree. tree. <laughs> oh, I see Here them right come. now. And you hear them. We have the Aqua Shriners Mini Patrol, the little orange car. Dr. Schreiner's Mini Patrol have been a delight to kids and adults of all ages for more than 50 years, and we love seeing them Look every single year at the parade. They got a little giddy-up to them, just like Yay. our good friend Ray McQueen has a little giddy-up to him, too. G-Mac, what's yeah, happening? Yeah, we giddy-up, especially with that espresso I was drinking earlier. Are we having a great time today, guys? You can feel the energy here along West Broad Street, and I'll tell you, coming up next, We've got Charlie and Snoopy, Charlie Brown and Snoopy with the peanuts and the Ghostbusters. Who are you going to call? Stick right here. We're coming back. 40th anniversary of the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. We'll be right back. All right.
40th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. You're looking at our good friend Tom Patton and Mike Stone and some other friends from CBS 6, and they're tossing out all kind of goodies. Those are little snowball stress balls, which I'm sure some of you might need during the holiday season just to get by. And look at the crowds, Cheryl. Look at all those people. That I, is an amazing shot down Broad Street. Um, very cool. As we welcome the Ghostbusters. Yeah, who are you going to call, Cheryl? These are the people you call if there's something strange in your neighborhood. The Virginia Ghostbusters. Uh, they're a nonprofit, of course, as you can see, costume group whose volunteers give back to the community through their love of all things Ghostbusters. They even have the packs on and the... Uh, they have some of their vehicles uh, outfitted as Ecto-1, and I've actually seen those out on the street in the, in the real world. Right. Just driving <laughs> Which is kind of cool, just Very driving cool. around. Uh, they partner with Toys for Tots, Feed More, uh, Leashes of Valor, and the SPCA in the past year, and recently in the top three contributors to Make-A-Wish of Greater Virginia. So it's a lot of fun, but they do some serious work in the community. Thank you to the Ghostbusters, Virginia. And since the original movie, there have been remakes and some uh, sequels, so a whole nother generation knows who the Ghostbusters are. Oh, there's Slimer in the window. Yeah. <laughs> I think they were recently, uh, when they, uh, there was a Ghostbusters movie with Paul Rudd came out, they had the Ecto-1 up at the, uh, the movie uh, theater in Chester. There's Slimer in the back seat, too. Slimer's everywhere. That's why we need Ghostbusters. There he is. <laughs> Makes me want to go back and rewatch the movie. I know. Right? We need a marshmallow man balloon. <laughs> oh, a Stay Puft marshmallow yeah. balloon. That would be epic. Yes, uh, especially with the Ghostbusters following them. That would be perfect. We'll have to work on that. <laughs> we'll call the C Christmas Parade Incorporated and have them work on that. That's their job. They put together a wonderful parade. Again, this year, almost 100 units along the parade route, which goes from here at the Science Museum of Virginia, where Rob and I are, along with Kristen and Reba, and all the way downtown to 7th Street. Looks like some of the uh, Ecto-1s have, have been traded in for upgrades. Sound effects can make the mood, can't they? <laughs> We're gonna call yeah we're gonna call you the Virginia Ghostbusters we believe you most of the communities in this area do have their own Christmas mother and this is the Christmas mother from Henrico County Helen Wood Wood is a wife mother and grandmother along with being very active in her community she volunteers for several organizations including serving as a bell ringer for the Salvation Army Helen joined the Henrico Christmas Mother program after retiring from Henrico County Public Schools in 2004. The Henrico Christmas Mother program began in 1942 when Henrico school teacher Mitty McCraw Nelson was asked to coordinate a holiday program for families. Thank you, Helen. All right, next, this is the Henrico Center for the Arts. They're housed at Henrico High School. Uh, the Center for the Arts, they're Henrico County's first specialty center. They're celebrating over 30 years of professional training, career opportunities, and post-secondary education. What they do here is they prepare students for higher education and careers in the visual and performing arts. Now, that looks to me like a scene from Sister Act, and yeah. apparently it is, because the Center for Arts in Henrico High School's Drama Club is performing Sister Act, December 14th through the 16th. So you can go check out the musical. It is a blessing for us. Coming up next, the Henrico County Public Schools Marching Band. This is the Glen Allen High School Marching Band, representing one of the nine comprehensive high schools in Henrico County Public Schools. For the 24th straight year, the National Association of Music Merchants named HCPS one of America's best communities for music edu education. Let's take a listen. This is the Henrico Glen Allen High School Marching Band.
is coming to town. Not just this Santa jingle balloon, but the real Santa will be here soon. This is sponsored by Henrico County Parks and Recreation. 25 feet tall, 15 feet wide. It took four weeks to create this magic Santa balloon. And it takes six tanks of 1,500 cubic feet of helium to fill it up so that it can float its way down Broad Street for the 40th annual Dominion Energy Richmond Christmas Parade. And Rico County does sponsor the Jingle Santa Balloon. Yeah, so again, this year, we're kind of in a little bit of a different position. We're usually in the parking lot of the uh, Science Museum of Virginia, but because they're doing a little construction, the start of the parade is actually just a little bit down the road, and they have to navigate around those trees and under that light. And look at those handlers doing a great job of getting Santa right under the light. You can hear all the crowd. Oh, the crowd clapping, that's awesome. What I love about this balloon, Cheryl, is that it is in the movie. It had its 15 minutes of fame in the hit movie, Jingle All the Way, with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sinbad. And everybody has their own Christmas movie. It's a Wonderful Life, Elf, things like that. My family, ever since my kid was very young, every Christmas Eve, we watch Jingle All the Way. So it's great to see that. Now let's welcome the Henrico County Department's recruiting truck. Henrico County Police serve and protect more than 330,000 citizens over 245 square miles. The Henrico Police Department, proud to be one of 17 agencies TriArc accredited through the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies. Last year, Henrico Police signed on to the 30 by 30 pledge, which advances women in policing through recruitment, retention, and representation of all ranks. And the department, and by the way, is hiring. You can apply online. I want to thank all of our first responders and everybody out there that's helping. Uh, again, the Henrico County Police Department recruiting truck there. And Henrico County 911. The Communications Department is the newest department in Henrico County, coming into being on June 17th of this year. Last year, Henrico 911 processed almost 500,000 calls, almost a half million calls serving partner agencies, the Division of Police, Sheriff's Office, and Fire and EMS. Henrico 911 encouraging everyone to remain on the line. Don't hang up if you need to call, and if you can't call, send a text. They're looking for 911 dispatchers. You can find more information online. They say no experience is required. They will train you. Merry Christmas, everybody. And they had a pretty good float there. I hope we can get another, another shot of it. But uh, all these volunteers putting together. There it is. Uh, it's got a nice little uh, Christmas theme to it. It looks like a living room with the Christmas tree and the snowman riding shotgun in there. How about that? All and right. Let's check in on street level. Reba and Kristen are standing by. Hi. You know, can we give a shout out to the balloon handlers? Santa made it through underneath. They the look so board. good, and they it's not great. just that they dip under the stoplights; then they actually stand and twirl in the they street. Do. Great yes, job, right? So you, let's go to Paris right now. This is the, what we have right now: is the King's Dominion float, the Eiffel Tower. Snoopy and classic Christmas char characters join us, courtesy of King's Dominion in celebration of their holiday event, Winterfest. If you've never been, it is a sight to see, Snoopy. Kristen. Yeah, look at Snoopy right there. Winterfest is one of the area's most popular immersive holiday celebrations with millions of lights, hundreds of Christmas trees, and festive activities like ice skating on the park's iconic fountains. Indulge in some of the season's most decadent treats like fried cinnamon bread, stuffed cupcakes, and specialty hot, hot chocolate. chocolates. They had us at food, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> and be sure to spend your time decorating cookies, making seasonal crafts, and writing letters to Santa. Look at the dance. Making yes. their way to Broad Street. Oh, there's so much energy. Snoopy again looking good. He is not in the doghouse this year. Uh, He's on the nice list. What a sweetheart. Yeah, Santa Snoopy and the rest of the peanut gang are looking forward to celebrating with you this holiday season. Always so much fun. It can be so cold out there, but you still go out there and just have fun with the rides and everything. Exactly. And here we have the Virginia National Guard, sponsored by m &E Contractors. The Virginia National Guard is a unique dual status force providing a combat reserve Best for the U.S. Army and U.S. Air Force to fight our nation's wars, but also answers the call of the Virginia governor to defend the Commonwealth. The Citizen Soldier Service roots of the Virginia National Guard, they trace back to the founding of Jamestown, Kristen, from 1607. 
There has been a military presence defending Virginia ever since. So we thank them for their service. The Virginia National Guard currently has 7,200 soldiers, 1,200 airmen, 300 Virginia Defense Force members, and 400 federal and state civilians. Yeah, they bring more than $250 million wow. in annual income into the Commonwealth. This November, the Virginia National Guard deployed ground crews to support containment efforts at the Quaker Run Fire in Madison County, Virginia. That's right. I just love seeing all the vehicles, too, the military vehicles. All right, we want to send it over now to our friend Greg McQuaid. Hey, yeah, Greg. Yeah, 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 just with a few of my friends here along Broad <laughs> We're having such a great time right now. All right, question, question, who's been nice this year? All right, who's been naughty? Oh, a little bit. All right, listen, we've got marching bands, we've got musicians, more in the 40th Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. We'll be right back. <laughs> Celebrating this year's theme, Joyous Christmas Traditions. It is the 40th annual Dominion Energy Christmas Parade, and you are watching live on CBS 6. And you can see just how deep the crowd is. This starts at the Science Museum of Virginia here in Richmond, goes all the way down Broad Street, 2.2 miles to 7th Street. And you can see the people lining the parade route, watching the balloons, listening to the bands, and just having a great time. And they're enjoying the Vibe Dance Company right now under the direction of Kate Wright and Sean Crutchfield. They're in Midlothian. They provide dance instruction for ages two and older. This is their third year joining us in the Christmas Parade. The Vibe Dance Complex prides itself on community diversity and inspiring the next generation who share a passion for dance. Being part of Vibe, they say, is important to dancers because of the strong friendships and the sense of community between the students. Getting a good vibe. Do you see that cute float? It's like a radio flyer wagon. It's got a Rubik's Cube in there and some uh, building alphabet blocks. blocks. Yeah. yeah, building blocks. That's how cute. Good job. That's a good vibe right there. The Vibe Dance Company. Kind of hearkening back to toys that we played with back 40 years ago. Well, yeah. maybe <laughs> other people did. <laughs> Hey, you know what? This is a traditional, joyous Christmas traditions is the theme for the uh, parade this year. And you talk about a Christmas tradition. How about a nutcracker? This is the Blue Nutcracker Balloon sponsored by Academy Bus. And he may look like he's bowing to us right now. But these are the handlers trying to get him under that 
White at Robinson Street and Broad Street. They're doing a great job. As we mentioned, the beginning of the parade, which is what you're watching here, is taking on kind of a different route this year in the beginning because of the fact that there is construction underway at the Science Museum of Virginia, which is where we're normally posted for the parade broadcast. Mm -hmm. And again, this is the uh, Nut Nutcracker Balloon, obviously, sponsored by Academy Bus. Uh, they were recently acquired James River Transportation, and they're excited to be operating in and around Richmond and Norfolk. Uh, they operate in 20 plus markets up and down the East Coast from Boston all the way to Miami. They're recognized as the largest privately owned and operated ground transportation company in the United States. And we want to welcome another Christmas mother to our parade. This is Kathy Fox, who is the Chesterfield Colonial Heights Christmas mother. That program just celebrated its 50th anniversary this year. Kathy has been a member of the Christmas Committee with the program for eight years now. And the organization did help over 4,500 people in the community over the last year. They shop and they fundraise all year to provide assistance in the form of new toys, books, clothing, and food gift cards to qualifying children, families, and seniors seniors as we celebrate the holidays. And appreciate the hard work of Kathy Fox and all of the Christmas mothers in Chesterfield County uh, that are doing great work for families who really need it during the holidays. And the Christmas mother members say they can't do what they do without the generosity of you and the community and they're very thankful. Coming up next, the Chesterfield County Schools Marching Band. It's actually two schools. This band, comprised of 150-plus high school marching band students from Midlothian High School and Clover Hill High School, both in Chesterfield County. The director of Midlothian High School Marching Band is Gordon Rawls, and the director of the Clover Hill High School Band is Brianna Catch, Gatch, excuse me. Uh, both schools are Commonwealth of Virginia Honor Bands. And we do want to welcome, especially Midlothian. This is their first first appearance in the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade, bringing their band here uh, in over 20 years and Clover Hill's first appearance since 2018. Both bands traveling together will be headed off to the Bahamas in April of 2024 to perform there. Let's give them a listen. many talented young musicians in our parade today and probably inspiring more than a few children in the crowd to want to either play a musical instrument or maybe become a majorette. All right, coming up next, this is a unit that is very close to my heart because I featured them in a couple of my Building Better Mind segments. This is the Richmond Public Schools Lit Limo and their Polar Express bus. Uh, the RPS Lit Limo has handed out over 50,000 books to the students of Richmond, not just letting them borrow them. They collect these books and they drop by a lot of underserved communities and they give children an opportunity to pick a book that they want to take home and it's theirs and they get to have that book for the rest of their lives. The Lit Limo has been rolling the streets of Richmond since June of 2020. This is their fourth iteration, by the way. Yeah, they just uh, got a new bus last year. That's right. Their original bus, it burned in, uh, in a, a tragic fire, but thanks to uh, a lot of hard work and donations and a lot of help, they were able to acquire a new bus, and look at how they got it decked out, the Polar Express bus. I see you winking back there, Gingerbread Man. Yeah, uh, they, they make reading fun. The bus brings books, but they also have bubbles, a slide, and much more when they stop in neighborhoods right? around the city. And I tell you what else is cool, this Lit Lemo is run by the librarians of Richmond Public Schools. They have such a heart for these kids and want to get them reading, and we just want to say thank you for your hard work. Hello there. And they're handing out books in the crowd, which is a nice thing, too. Oh, that is cute. Bet Child's going to go home and, and enjoy the magic of reading and traveling to other places thanks to reading. 
All right, coming up next, this next float, this is the Virginia Transplant Center. Uh, patients at the Virginia Transplant Center receive a personalized approach to care from beginning to end. Uh, they perform both laparoscopic and robotic transplants. They've been established in the Richmond community for over 30 years of care for things like kidney transplants and living donations and really extending the lives and the happiness of families. They say they have the highest percentage of living donor transplants in the state of Virginia and has an outstanding patient success rate. Congratulations to them on that, and thank you for the work they're doing here in our community to help people who need it. I went to the uh, Richmond Raceway Complex where they housed a lot of these floats, and it's just amazing how much detail they put into it to make them so festive, and, and these are some really nice floats this year in this parade. And here's a little sparkle to add to a float this year. This is the <laughs> Sparkles Cheer and Dance Company. They're a competition cheer and dance company out of Ashland, open to all families there. They teach life lessons to all their athletes off and on the mat. This is Sparkle and Cheer Dance's sixth season, being able to touch the lives of others through their cheer and dance and they say they absolutely love what they do. Sparkle and cheer, Sparkle's Cheers and Dance is about building strong teachable athletes through their creative dance, their cheer and stunts and their tumbling and they say they're always looking to add some new family members so if you're interested in what they do, give them a call. They look great. I love the neon pom-poms. Yeah. Hey, you know, speaking of sparkle and cheer, that are those are my nicknames for Reba and Kristen. Sparkle and cheer, and they're what joining us on the on the parade I'll route. Cheer. I'll take sparkle. We got cheer right here. Yes. Come on. Come on. And I do too. Cheryl love their neon pom-poms. Yes. That is so much fun. I want to turn and look behind me to oh. watch him dance a little bit. And you they know, do there's such nothing a good job. Like a great band in a parade. Kristen, and we got one coming up right now. That would be the Goochland High School marching band, Reba. The Goochland high school marching band Bulldogs have grown by 50% this year. Can't wait to see the growth for next school year. The marching Bulldogs marches students from grades 8 through 12, usually marching each year. This is the band's second year back at the Christmas parade after not marching in the parade for a few years. The marching Bulldogs compete in many competitions throughout the year and they also travel Christian. Let's take a listen. This year they have a trip planned for New York City. Oh, New York City. They sound great. The Apple. This is the Goochland High School Marching Band. I've always wanted to play the drums. What about you? I did play the drums. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. I learned I something new today about my Christmas. You know who loves the drum line? It's our very own Tom Patton, doesn't he? Yes, he does. They sound songs right now, you know, just putting you in the spirit. I do too. Here we go. Coming up, we have Bon Secours Richmond Health System at St. Mary's Toy Float. Let's take a look at the Toy Float, Reba. We have a few things going on here, don't we? Yeah, look at everybody. a serious health issue or improving your overall well-being, Bon Secours Richmond is committed to helping you stay healthy and strong. From emergency care to primary and specialty care, Bon Secours Richmond's doctors and healthcare professionals are passionate about improving your overall health with personalized healthcare solutions so you can be there for what matters most. I'm loving the toys, like the blocks. I mean, you have some young ones. I'm sure that looks very familiar to oh, you. Oh, yeah, they love right? all the bright colors like that. I'm sure they can spot out some of the letters that they have. Looks like we have a snowman. We have a couple Christmas trees coming by waving. Next up, we have Spark, one of my personal favorites here. Spark provides transformative performing arts experiences to over 3,000 students each year. Spark's touring ensemble is a group of dedicated teens from all over the Richmond community. These are some talented young people right here. The ensemble members participate in weekly training sessions in theater, music, and dance. The touring ensemble performs at many public and private events throughout the Richmond community. A very special place in my heart, Kristen. My daughter was a Spark student enjoy love it i could absolutely see her and look how much fun they're having yeah and the touring ensemble performs at many public and private events throughout the richmond community 
Hey, we have the Snowman Balloon. It's there sponsored it by Sutton right Clark there. Supply and Radio Communications of Virginia. Mr. Snowman there with his big red hat looking good. <laughs> Sutton Clark Supply has provided storage for Christmas parade materials and supplies for years. I wonder how the snowman feels right now because, not, again, not super, super cold. <laughs> right. Snowman looks good. Which is good for us, but maybe not so good for him, right? right. He would like to see some snowflakes in the air, but I don't think that's coming. Hopefully. Yeah. Let, let's do it after the right, broadcast. There you go. Right, there After right, the right, holiday. Snowman. Well, Sutton Clark Supply has over 55 years of supplying hoses, gaskets, conveyor belts, and more across Virginia and beyond. It remains an industry leader throughout both the Commonwealth and the nation. And I love how he is ducking under the stoplight. He's got Again, it. Yeah, and we got to give it up to these handlers. Absolutely. They are doing their master, thing with the balloons handlers. today. Its offices are conveniently located in Richmond and Hampton Roads. And Radio Communications of Virginia. Radio Communications of Virginia has been the Commonwealth's leading wireless solutions provider for over 65 years. Radio Communications is an elite Motorola sales and service center, which provides Motorola two-way radio solutions for both local first responders and commercial users. Let's take a look at the Dynamic Angels coming up. What a bunch of sweethearts. The Dynamic Angels are a competitive dance team from Richmond with dancers ages 6 to 18 years old. You can see them aging all oh, Look at the little ones in front. The Dynamic Angels are a nationally and internationally competitive team traveling across the U.S. as well as out of the country to compete. Yeah, their dancers have won second place at a competition wow. in Mexico. Yeah, the Dynamic Angels are celebrating 10 years in 2024 and entering season number 10. And I know somebody who is dancing in the crowd. <laughs> there there he, is. he is, Greg McQuaid. Oh, we are enjoying ourselves here along West Broad Street. We're just minutes away from the big man himself. Santa Claus is coming to town and down Broad Street. They have one big message. What is it? Welcome back. You are looking live along the parade route here for the 2023 40th anniversary of the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. I'm Rob Cardwell along with my good friend Cheryl Miller. And welcome and happy holidays to you. The parade has been fabulous so far. There's still more to come, including a welcoming of legendary Santa to bring in officially the holiday season. We've got a lot of floats, a lot of big balloons, a lot of just parade activity, which has been fabulous throughout the afternoon. 
And now we want to talk about the Woody Foundation. I actually ran into Mr. Woody about a week or so ago. Nice. And we were talking about the organization. They exist to benefit the lives of children and families living in low-income environments through community awareness initiatives and events. Their motto is lending a helping hand to bridge the gap among generations. Yeah, if you'd like to find more about the Woody Foundation, just visit their website, woodyfoundation.org, doing a lot of great things in the community. A lot of Nightmare Before Christmas themes this year on some of the floats. That's awesome. Foundation has a community float with the uh, partners with Miss Community, Clovia, and Cap City Characters, bringing you happiness to the viewers of the parade, including, as Rob said, some of the Nightmare Before Christmas characters, which is a very popular recurring holiday movie. imaginative everybody is with their floats mm -hmm. you know they're also different and also thematic they've got the sleigh working with that one don't they and one very strong reindeer pulling it <laughs> <laughs> Science Museum of Virginia, where we are. And the parade's a great opportunity to introduce some uh, community organizations that people may not be familiar with. Exactly. Well, this is the Royalette Baton Twirlers. They range in age from four years old, itty bitty, all the way up through college. And their motto is Reach for the Stars. The Royalette Baton Twirlers are co sponsored by Chesterfield County Parks and Rec, and they're under the direction of Diane Gunnels. Members have gone on to twirl at over 20 different universities across the country. They compete in contests sponsored by the National Baton Twirling Association, and the Royal Baton Twirlers are the 2023 state champions. Congratulations. They've represented the United States in world competitions in countries including Holland, Canada, Switzerland, Croatia, Italy, Norway, and France. Look Taking how cute our they are. Local talent to the world. I like what you said earlier about getting these kids involved in organizations like this and doing things, you know, for the community and in the community and just uh, being able to represent Richmond in such a positive way. So nice to see them. Training the next generation. And so talented. I, I can't do one, but some of them can twirl three or four at the same time. That's crazy. All right, this is a great way to travel the 2.2 miles of the parade <laughs> on roller skates. This is the River City Rollers. After a two-year hiatus following the pandemic, River City Rollers Derby came back to the track in 2022 and put in the work for an incredible season. The Women's Flat Track Derby Association has more than 400 member leagues all across the world, including our own River City Rollers. They've hosted several successful events connected with the RVA community. They even won a local tournament. No kidding. This year's People's Battle of Richmond hosted its inaugural presentation of the PBR, or People's Battle of Richmond, in October. And the River City Roller Derby hopes you'll join them at a game, an event, or an open house in the coming year. And we recently featured them on a uh, report on CBS 6. You could go to our website, WTBR.com, to learn more about the River City Roller Derby, the Flat Track Girls. All right, this is, this is Councilwoman Ellen Robertson and her 6th District Hometown Heroes. Uh, Richmond City Councilwoman Ellen Robertson and the 6th District Hometown Heroes, they're tireless advocates for the city. Uh, Ms. Robertson and their heroes are always working to improve the lives of their district. Again, they're in the 6th District. Appreciate them. And she has been serving the community 20 years as the 6th District Councilman. Thank you, men, very much to Ellen Robertson. All right, let's toss it to our good friends, Reba and Kristen, along the parade route. And we're <laughs> here. Hi, guys. Really yeah, they're good. Oh, we're watching the roller skaters. Reba, <laughs> Reba remembers those days. I know. Those I days. know. We're going to talk about it a lot, don't we? Oh, but we right great now, spot here. we're going to talk about Faith and Long Fellowship Church Slingshots Van and Float. The Faith and Love Fellowship Church is located at 141 East Belt Boulevard in Richmond, Virginia. Faith and Love Fellowship Church just celebrated their 15th year in ministry under the leadership of Pastor Alton Foote Sr. and co-pastor Gloria Foote. 
The Foot son and daughter, Minister Tiger Foot and Chunky Foot Moore, manage the Choice 105.3 FM radio station where they play the best and the blessed with the latest and greatest urban inspiration. Oh, we are loving the music. Pastor Foot and their youngest daughter, the star Renee Lee, are preparing to release a new gospel music right now in 2024. The church is launching a shaved ice dessert shop called Ice Angels next year. Of course, we need to stop by. Look at those cool cars, Reba. Yes. How fun are those? Hi. I am loving the music, digging this. I do too. Look at those colored cars too. I love that. And for There's more information on Faith and Love Fellowship Church Ministry, just check out their website, choice 1053.com. Oh, there we go. Com. Okay, now you can see all of them all lined up. They look nice. That is fun. They are all shiny and bright. And they're getting the crowd going too. Get your hands up, Kristen. Get your hands them. up. Go, 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 girl. <laughs> there they are. Hi, guys. They are great. They are pumped. Oh, yeah, Kristen. So if we get a car like that, you'll talk about us in the, your traffic report, right? I think right. so, yes. If we each had, which color There's would you like, neon. Do you like neon the orange, truck. the green, the white? I kind of like the one in the front, the lights. Coming up right now, one of my personal favorites, VMI Regimental Band, Regimental Band, sponsored by the New Market Corporation. Virginia Military Institute was founded as our country's first state military college in 1839. The VMI Regimental Band was founded in 1948, and the VMI Pipe Band was founded in 1997. The VMI Band performs over 100 times We're annually so parades, ceremonies, and functions across Virginia and the United States. Cadets in the Regimental Band come from all academic majors, all classes, and attend ROTC classes in all the branches of the United States military. And they come just about every year and just so regal to see. They make the trip all the way to Richmond. Let's listen in. all classes and attend ROTC classes and all of the branches of the United States military. They sound amazing. And every time I see them, it's just about tradition. And we have Feed More Freddy the Bug. Who's that rolling down the road with food and love? It's Feed More Freddy, the newest member of Feed More's Hunger Fighting Fleet. Yeah, since April, this retrofitted school bus has been delivering fresh fruits, veggies, and more to kids and teens across Central Virginia. And we have to give a big shout out to Feed More because we know there is a need in Central Virginia, and they really serve that need and provide and help so many people in our community. Like all of Feed More's children's programs, Feed More Freddy is designed to help one in six children in Central Virginia experiencing food insecurity. And Feed More's programs provide the healthy foods that kids and teens need to improve their concentration, better manage stress, and grow into leaders of tomorrow. We love the bus. I love Feed More Freddy. You see the snowman on top right I here? I do. <laughs> and let's think, send things back. Hi, right. guys. Kristen and Over Reba. to Rob Great and Cheryl. Job. Great job. Appreciate it, guys. You know, being warm this time of year is so important, not necessarily on a day like today, but in the cold of winter. And yeah. Michael & Sons is a company that helps a lot of people with that, with heating and cooling yeah. in the city, <laughs> as far as that's concerned. They've been serving the community since 1976, specializing in heating, cooling, plumbing, electrical, and restoration services. They also operate a 501c3 nonprofit called Michael & Son Helping Hands that provides essential home services for community members in need. Their mission statement, is to exceed customer expectations and provide memorable experience. You know their theme. If you can't, we, we can. We can. That's <laughs> right. We've seen the commercials. And you were talking about how creative some of these floats are. Uh, I've never seen one like this. This is really nice. It's like an old style. Um, oh, like uh, a, a rocker. Yeah, like a rocker or, or, a, or something like that. But it's, it's a reindeer. That's so cute. That is adorable. Oh, 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 o
All right, coming up next, the Prestige Dance Studio. They're located off a of whole street road in Chesterfield County, Virginia. Uh, they teach dancers who itty bitties, 18 months to 18 years old. How about that? And these are these uh, the dancers dressed up like elves today. They uh, are Santa's elves every year in the parade, if you remember right, correctly. That's right. Prestige prides itself on manageable class sizes that allow instructors to give every child, no matter their age, some individual attention, but in a group setting. And when we see Prestige Dance Company, that means Santa's coming. Santa is on his way, I bet. Yeah, because the elves have to make the way, right? That's right. They have to make the way and lead the way back to the North Pole so they can finish <laughs> making toys. It is the moment we've been waiting for, Cheryl. The 87th year of legendary Santa in Richmond and the 40th year in the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade for Santa bringing up the rear. Yeah, legendary Santa, the Atlantic Union Bank, proudly supporting Santa's float for this ninth magical year. Uh, Atlantic Union, trusted financial partner in Virginia since 1902, and hey, Santa's on the sleigh there. Whether you're in search of personal business banking solutions, Atlantic Union Bank has the right options for you. And of course, legendary Santa tradition began in 1936 at Miller and Rhodes and came to the Children's Museum, which is right behind us here on Broad Street in 2005, and has taken part in many a Richmond Christmas parade. He's got a great float there, too. He's got the presents in the sleigh. He's got the reindeer pulling. The, yeah. the 87th year of legendary Santa made possible by generous support from the Children's Museum of Richmond sponsors, Santerra Health Plans, and Wegmans. I know who's going to be excited to see Santa. Almost as much as Elf. Greg McQuaid. <laughs> Greg McQuaid is always so excited My to see Santa. goodness! Santa! Santa! I have been dreaming about this for 364 days. It's great to see you! Santa! Hello, my friend! How, How are is you? everything, my friend? Oh, my goodness. It couldn't be any better. I'm down here with you wonderful folks here in Richmond, and I love it. How was the trip down from the North Pole, this little pre-trip? Fine. fine. It, was, it was not a, well, it's a pre-trip every single day. I come down every morning, <laughs> but it's fine. A little bit warm today, mm -hmm. but uh, otherwise, absolutely wonderful. The reindeers are holding up. Yeah, you know, are you kidding? They're wonderful. <laughs> I love my reindeer. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Santa, Christmas. can you give us a little message what we should be looking for and how little boys and little girls and maybe big boys and big girls should be acting from now until Christmas? Well, I hope everybody's got to work to make sure they're on the good list. And you can do that by being kind and you can be a Santa. Santa means giving with that with love and expecting nothing in return. My knees are weak. Santa, we love you. Ho, ho, love ho. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. All right. My work is done here. It is the best. Uh, Robin Reba, uh, this just doesn't, uh, Robin Cheryl, this just doesn't get better. It is awesome, and I, I'm sure that Greg is on the nice list this year. I'm sure he is, and we are too, I hope. Um, <laughs> great to see Santa ending our Christmas parade. Let's go to our float, which is still making its way down Broad Street because it hasn't gotten down to the end yet. Janine Samuels is on the float. Hey, Janine. There's, yeah, there's Joy and Caroline. Uh, there's some neat things inside that snow globe this year. Some 1948-era toys are inside the, the snow globe this year because, of course, CBS 6 celebrating its 75th anniversary this year, serving the community here in the Richmond area as the South's first television station. And we do want to say a big thank you to all the CBS 6 crew today who helped make this parade possible. Uh, there are so many people working diligently behind the scenes to make this a wonderful experience for you and your family. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this. This is the 40th Dominion Energy Christmas Parade from Cheryl and, and myself and all of us at CBS 6. We want to just wish you a happy and safe 
holiday. And we want to let you know that we will be rebroadcasting this uh, Christmas parade from 9 to 11 a.m. on Christmas Day. We hope you and your family have a wonderful, happy holidays, and Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade.